Welcome to a Wild Rumpus's Blackberry Bake Free and Champagne Cocktail Tutorial. Today we're going to tell you how to make a delicious and easy baked brie and a cocktail that will knock your guest socks off. Start by rolling out a puff pastry to about 1 8 of an inch thick. Make sure that yours is more stable than mine was. Then get out your brie! Unwrap it. You don't want to cook it in the paper, but you do want to leave it in the rind. Cut it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's still going to taste awesome. And throw in some toasted pecans. I use the lid of the box to tell me where to put the jam. And then I put down some pear blackberry jam I made the night before. Put the brie on top and then spread some more of that sweet jammy goodness all over. Then I slice a pear thinly and lay that on top of that jam and brie and basically add another layer of texture and yumminess to this tasty treat. Crack an egg, whip it up, and get ready to do an egg wash all over. I would trim it before you do the egg wash, something I don't do in this video, but something I wish I had done, as you'll see. You want the egg wash to get all over so it seals it up nice and tight and you don't lose any of that sweet gooey goodness. This is where I realized my puff pastry is too large and I don't want it to not cook. So I went ahead and trimmed it off. Then it's time to fold it over. Kind of like wrapping a little package full of cheese and beautiful deliciousness. So enjoy yourself while you're doing this. Keep the scraps. You're going to want those if you want to try and make this fancy. Then go ahead and flip over your brie. I did everything on the parchment paper because I didn't want to have to move it too much. I was going to get fancy with tiny cookie cutters or something like that. But I decided just to do this weird little edge thing around it. And that worked out for me. Once you decide on doing a decoration, just make it your own. Then you're gonna take that egg wash and wash it all over. I sprinkled with a little salt and pepper and then into the freezer. Now, time for a drink. The drink of choice around a wild rumpus is usually champagne because duh. This champagne cocktail makes for a great treat for your celebration. I made a blackberry ginger syrup by putting fresh blackberries, sugar, pomegranate juice, and a dash of ginger juice into a saucepan and cooking it down to some syrupy goodness. Putting the syrup in the bottom of the glass makes it not just tasty, but pretty as well. Be careful, things get bubbly. Garnish with fresh blackberries and you are definitely the hero of this party. Once your brie has gotten out of the oven, you want to let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes before you cut into it to avoid molten lava cheese. You still want the cheese to be gooey and spready though, like you'll see here in the video. It kind of pours out and everything is delicious. Serve with crostinis, crackers, whatever you like. Sometimes we just eat it whole. Thank you guys so much. We hope you enjoy it. You can get the recipe on a wildrumpus.com. Have a great holiday and we'll see you next year. Thanks for joining us on A Wild Rumpus. Hit that subscribe button, friends. We'd love to share more with you about cooking, bullet journaling, and more. Thanks for being a Wild Rumpus starter with us.